What's up, everybody? We're back again. It's episode 153 of the Dad Bod Golf Pod. It's Tuesday, actually. Uh, you're listening to this. It's on Tuesday. We took the night off yet last night. We we're a little bit reeling uh, from our the team that we pulled for in the NCAA uh, tournament choked. They're gone. They're out. We've sulked for a day. Now it's time to talk about golf. There's a ton of great stuff to talk about tonight. And tonight's episode is brought to you by Bet Online. If your bracket, your bracket may be busted, but you know what may not be busted? If you if you bet with them, your wallet. You could fill that sucker up. And we know you could stack a 50% welcome bonus up right now with coupon code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V. Still got Sweet 16. Still got Elite Eight. Still got Final Four. Still got national championship coming up. Yes. Tons of opportunities to bet. You probably got NIT. You probably got women's tournament. All kinds of stuff you can bet on. Uh, check them out. Bet online where the game starts. Benjamin, big Yo! news. How's it going, buddy? How was your weekend? <laughs> My weekend? I did get to play golf over the weekend. Yeah, saw it. By the way, those of you that check it out on Instagram, I took a picture of the worst, the worst box on the T-box course I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> now, I have I'm confused on it, and I said, well, why does that tee box look like that? That's a par five. There should be no irons ever hit. It's over water. There should never be an iron hit off of yeah. that tee box. Why is it beat to ever live in hell and back? Like, yeah. what is going on there with that? And because I got to thinking about it, when people started commenting under it, I was like, you know, they're right. And that tee box should not be like that. Like looks, the part it's terrible. is just before it, that tee box doesn't look like no. that. Like, Typically their, their boxes have a lot of grass on them. Yeah. yeah. And so, and, and that's not the only one. Like I told y'all, I said, there were about four out there that looked like that. I'm not yeah. real sure what's going on. Anyway, yeah. anyway I'm not going to throw the course under the bus. I will say those, those people knew if you go and see the post, everybody knew where I was playing. Uh, yeah. It's one of the local courses here in the Auburn Opelika area. So, uh, check it out. But I did get to play a little golf. I completely failed at keeping my goal of not having any doubles. Yeah, you told me. And the instead, front nine got you. Uh, front nine got me with three doubles. Back nine got me with two doubles. Nice. And still pulled out a smooth 81. There you go. You grinded it out. <laughs> grinded it out. I grinded out with I grinded out with a couple of birdies on top of that, and then uh, the rest were par. So it was – Kind of like what Nate's talked about. It was either doubles, birdies, or pars. There were no bogues. There were no eagles. Got to uh, figure so out. We got to figure out how to double bogey avoidance. How can we just make bogeys? If if you're gonna make I, a, I wasn't. Uh, how can we just make bogeys? I wasn't as frustrated because Kyle. Kind of like what last time you and I played, where you said you're really hitting it well. Yeah. Well, I was hitting it well again with my irons. So I was flying just about every green. So Smoking. I was getting. I was getting the doubles because some of these greens are not very protected behind it. So I was either OB or in a hazard and ended up making doubles. So uh, I, I wasn't too frustrated with the doubles because when you're hitting it good, but I just couldn't trust myself to club down. So it is what it is. Still had fun. It was still 70 degrees. I was still in shorts. Which, beautiful weekend. Which is amazing to do that in March. Fabulous time. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. So that was me. That was that was my week inside. I made all those doubles, and I got to watch Auburn lose. Great day. Great day. Well, you know who's not going to be playing golf on a weekend in about two weeks? Uh, oh, news boy. news just dropped. <laughs> news just dropped today. Uh, Uncle Phil, Phil Mickelson, will not be competing in the 2022 Masters for the first time in 28 years uh he's been listed as a past champion not playing on the tournament website uh ben sent you the article yeah yeah sent you the article and just just so people just so people know the only way this happens if you read through this article from sports illustrated is if he or his people call and ask to be placed on that list Hmm. so Hmm. he had to have requested that now I don't know if somebody called him that I think you should probably request to be on this list. Yeah. Be off this list. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Be, yeah. Be well, be on the past champions list. Cause you can pass champions, not playing list because yeah. Trevor Immelman that look, I like how they threw that in there too. Trevor Immelman's also on that same list. He moved off of it this past week. It's like, okay. I mean, when's the last time he's played? Oh, so nobody cares. 
<laughs> yeah, Phil, exactly. uh, that's a little different story. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty common. It's pretty common that totally healthy dudes that are uh, really into fitness <laughs> and are trying to break records as far as the old, as oldest pa- uh, major winners coming off of a major from the last year who loves to play at Augusta. It's very, very common for those guys to compl- voluntarily just take their names off the list. Don't you think, Ben? So uh, there's really nothing well, to see here, right? No, not at all, because I can tell you what. There's another gentleman that broke his leg less than a year ago that crushed it and was limping around golf courses, and his name's on the list to play right now. Oh, yeah. And that is Mr. Tiger Woods is still on that list. So, yes. Okay, so let's just let's just level. Let's just get real. They they kicked him out of this tournament. Like he is suspended, <laughs> right? I mean, like there's no other way to spin spin it. He suspended. They did it as gentlemanly as possible with the whole you got to uh, remove your name from the list. But like he's he was suspended, right? I mean. It, they 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 respectfully ask him to to take his name off the the T sheet. Let's just call it what it is. Interesting. Like, that's not that's not a fact from Ben and Kyle, but I'm going to tell you, he is not hurt. No, he is very healthy. Probably the most healthy he's been. <laughs> very healthy, life. coming off of a ton of controversy. Wouldn't shock me if he plays in a Champions Tour event sometime soon just because he's got the opportunity to do that. And, and so they haven't asked him not to play or what. I mean, they know he's a big draw. They know if he comes out of the Champions Tour, needs money, needs the money when they can get it. So uh, I don't think they're going to have an issue with him out there and playing. But uh, this was one of the questions that came up when he made the comments, is they said, how is Augusta going to treat him? Because Augusta plays by a different set of rules than anybody else. Yeah. Everything from TV broadcasts to the way they treat play. You Listen, you can – there were questions about this when Tiger had his infidelity issues. If Augusta would reach out and be like, bro, you need to take a step back. Take a year off. Mm. Yes. And so there were questions about that dating back to Tiger's issues. So I'm not shocked if somebody reached out to Phil's camp and said, uh, yeah, what you said, that's not going to fly here. So we know that you being a former champion are be in the media tent and having be asked a lot of questions. We don't want that taking place and taken away from our tournament. It's not your tournament. That's our tournament. Mm-hmm. So Ben, does this change your mind any about the, what, uh, you know, what, the route that I was taking that the legacy no. could be, I mean, no. uh, you will never this admit is, it. You will never admit it. Even if you believe this it. is legendary 10 years from now, we'll be like, we'll be like the masters ask him not to play that year. You remember that? And he came back the next year and he won. That ain't ever going to happen. That ain't ever going to happen. Uh, it, I hate to continue to I, – I just hate being right so often. But, like, it, 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 we tried to blow this, sweep this under the rug. Like, this wasn't a big deal. But when the biggest tournament uh, of the year asks you uh, not to play in their tournament or says, hey, you need to take yourself off the participation list – that is a big deal. And I almost wonder if uh, we say that they're not tied in with the PGA. I wonder if this is a – he has a secret suspension, kind of like everybody, you know, suspects that the Michael Jordan hiatus, you know, was a, was not really to go play baseball. It was because he was, you know, quote, unquote, being secretly suspended for gambling or whatever like that. Uh, I wonder if this is part of a everybody secret suspension. Everybody buys into that theory. I wonder if this is a, a part of uh, a secret suspension. What, what do you think about that? Or is this just a master? We'll thing? say that the PGA Tour will not comment on that. It, I, I honestly, I think it's just a master's thing. I don't think the PGA Tour has decided what they're going to do because yeah. I think they're trying to the, the, they're trying to pre- You know, you always hear in the NFL how that it's always for the shield for the shield. Yeah, and I think that the PGA Tour always is under fire for different things, whether it be golf's inclusion. Uh, they all, they still catch flack to this day that they that here they are making all this money and it's a bunch of white guys playing at private clubs and yeah. so they, they they get they get that thrown at them constantly. I mean it's not too and and the, and Augusta's gone through their share of controversy. I mean they had the the women's rights people sitting outside the gates years ago this that is a good would point. not not leave them alone. So they're probably thinking, you know what, this Phil, we're not going through this again. Like You're we've right. already we've been through this crap. We're not That's doing a great it again. Point. It's a great point. It's a great point. Masters distancing themselves from uh, some comments, especially uh, directed towards uh, different uh, 
lifestyles, uh, mm-hmm. making it seem like he may be okay with, you know, them, you know, not doing so well in some parts of the world. Like, it, yeah. uh, I mean, they, that is a very good point. It could be a, ma- a master's PR thing, which typically you don't think about that with the masters. Like a lot of times you just think they just really don't care. Like they just do whatever they want to do. Uh, but yeah, that's a good, that's a really good take. And I, and I, and I think, that's why I think this was – I think on this show it may have been underplayed just a little bit about how serious this whole this whole deal was in today's age with the, the exact comments that he said, uh, I, I, this, is, this is not good. This is not good. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm worried about Phil. I'm worried about him. He is, Let me ask you this. Do you yeah. think that his brethren – and his fraternity hurt him more I commenting on it when they could have easily said that I'm, I'm in no place to speak for Phil or I really don't want to go down that when asked about it, like the Rory's of the world and the other people of the world that, you know, they basically said it was stupid. Pat Perez of the world um, yeah. saying that it was stupid. You know, he's an idiot. He's making a ton of money already. And here he is to act like he's getting just, you know, raked over the coals and he's, you know, the PGA tour is taking money out of his pocket and he can't hardly live. Like, do you think that that hurt him? That would have been, does this masters, whatever it's called, you and I are calling it a suspension. They're calling it a withdrawal. I still say it's a suspension. Totally. Um, it's, it's an, <laughs> it's a requested suspension. How about that? We'll yeah. call it that. It's yeah. a requested suspension. Do you think that happens if a month and a half ago, Pat Perez's and the Rory's and the Billy Horses of the world, all these guys that commented on it, if they just say, when somebody says, well, what do you think about Phil? If they say, not my place, I'm not going in that direction. I wish you guys wouldn't ask me. I don't think. Move on. I don't think it would have been as big, a big of a deal, but I think that they almost had to comment because of the specifics of the comments that Phil had, like th- that got out there, like that are out there. I, they almost had no choice but to comment. So, yes, I do think if they would have not said anything, it probably wouldn't have blown up as much as it did. But, like, his comments l- made it to where they had to make a – they had to make a comment. So, mm. um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's dirty. It's, it's getting – uh, this is not good. I'm just telling you, I'm just, I'm worried. This is not good. Uh, I was looking forward to uh, silly Phil ripping bombs on the champions tour and uh, playing in the masters every so often. And then, you know, maybe make a run every now and then, but uh, this could be, uh, I don't know. We'll just, we'll have to see what happens from here. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe I'm overreacting, but um, it, uh, it does not look good. It does not I think look the good. recency bias says that you owe, acting but stuff like this is not going to make it any better for him that's true if this is the if this is the first domino of others to fall because you can say what you want they call it an open tournament like when you know what i refer to as the british open you call the open championship yeah they have the ability especially with it being at saint andrews they may not invite his ass over there either oh yeah they may say don't make the trip you need to withdraw yep past champion not playing Yes, we we are not we we do not want to go down that road of politics. So is this the first domino to fall? You know, I think the U.S. Open. I think it's a little different uh, because um, you know that's that's USGA driven. I mean, PGA Tour is involved, but I don't I don't know if he's involved in that or not. If he gets kicked out, but the two tournaments I worried about when all this came about was Augusta, which now they have shown, hey, bub, you need to step away. Yeah. Um, and the next one is going to be the Open Championship. If they go ahead and they reach out to him after this, now that this is happening, say, hey, same deal. Go ahead and say that you're not coming over here and play it. Like, just don't put us down. Because people don't realize, they think that our journalists and our paparazzi are bad. They're going to be sitting in his hotel room over there at the Open Championship. Oh, man. It's going to be bad. That, that the journal journalism over there, let me just tell y'all, Freedom of speech and all that stuff, the constitutional stuff that we have over here, they don't have that there, all right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> they can ask you what they want, when they want, and they hold nothing back. 
It's uh, it. I'm 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 curious. That's a big domino to fall. The match is a big domino to fall. Uh, speaking mm-hmm. of falling dominoes, this is a terrible segue. It has nothing. To, your your dominoes will never fall. Uh, if you're wearing styles from Swannies.co, you'll just be stacked up forever. Uh, use coupon code DadBodGolf by dash twenty five. Uh, take 25% off your next order. You got to check out their new line, tons of new hats, tons of new styles. Uh, looks great. The second half is coming. It's going to have shorts, a uh, lot more shorts, a yep. lot more uh, everything for spring and summer. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Check them out. Love those guys. Swannies.co, coupon code, dad by golf pod, dash 25. Ben, we kind of glanced over this, and I, and I got the feeling that people were listening to it, and they were like, wait, wait. Did you just say Tiger Woods' name on the list? Is, did, he, did, he, did they just say that? Tiger Woods' name still yes. on the list? Uh, yeah. Yes, friends. Uh, Tiger Woods' name is on the list for uh, of participants in the Masters. Now, that being said, he can, up until the week before the tournament, remove his name. So that would yes. be, uh, that would be, I guess, up until Sunday. He's got until Sunday to pull his name from the list. Um, and then I guess they hold him at gunpoint and make him play. I don't really know, but uh know what the rule is there. Uh, I mean, he's but... got... Go ahead. What were you about to say? No, he's got three weeks. It's the second week in, in April. You're right. You're right. You're right. The second week in April. Yeah. So you got Final, Final Four is the first weekend in April, Masters second weekend. Two best weekends in sports oh wow you're right you're right you're right yeah so i guess he's got two weeks he's got you know two how i know that to... by the way how's that my anniversary my anniversary is the first weekend in april it's pretty solid man that's a pretty easy you remember that fair but the first weekend in april this year is the first isn't it april 1st is a friday and so he'll have I mean, he'll Saturday. have until he'll have until sunday april 3rd to withdraw his name yeah, so that is two weeks. That 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 is two weeks. So he's got Monday uh, about uh, let's see seven. He's got about thirteen days to take his name off the list, or twelve days to take his name yeah. off the list. So uh, we'll have to don't hang in there and say, keep it I, on there, baby. Keep it on there. I there's no. I just don't see how he could possibly play. But um, it will be exciting. It will be very exciting. Can he just can he can he muster up the uh, strength to walk those hills uh, for four days or for two days? I mean, oh, I mean, how, for, for yeah, I was gonna say two days. Let's let's get let's get through the cut first, and then we'll decide whether or not we can do. That's the thing that worries me. You know how competitive he is that he doesn't want to miss the cut. Yeah. So it, you do, and and honestly, you know, Stevie Williams has been on record. He's saying. He can walk. He's going to try to play because that's his favorite place to play, yeah. and he's he's going to push it too far because he's going to try. He's going to like Augusta has a special place in Tiger's heart. Yeah, a- Augusta, Pebble, Tory, um, St Andrews this year, which is also on the list to be played. Um, so there are just certain venues that Tiger feels like he has to play. Yeah, and. You also wonder if his health will allow him to push it for four days. Because if he makes the cut, which is going to be hard to do, your first tournament out of the gates, I mean, to make the make the cut at Augusta, um, it, it it's going to be tough. And but if he makes the cut, how hard does he push with that leg to you know to actually try and be in contention? Because we all know the Masters doesn't begin to the back nine on Sunday. Right. So if, if he stays within five, six shots, he's got a chance. Exactly. So, he always does. He knows he, he can he can slap yeah. it around. He he knows he knows where he's got to hit it. He knows how to play the course. That's, there's no, there's no doubt about that. I just don't see it happening. I just don't think he can walk. I just don't think don't he can either. walk like that. It's just I can't make myself believe. <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe, but I just can't make myself let myself well, it's not, go. It's not just the 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 stress on his leg. I mean, it, he, he hadn't had to, he said he was tired after the two rounds that he played with Charlie in that, you know, that father son tournament. Yeah. I mean, he said he was, and he was driving a cart. Yeah. I mean, he, no, he, you're right. He said that he's, it's not even so much his leg as he said, he just gets winded because he's out of shape. I mean, he hadn't been able to work out. He said, you know, I've done, I've been on a rower and I've been on a, on a bike and that kind of thing. Cause I'm not doing any running anymore. He said, 
But that's different than when you get the adrenaline up and you start walking around and your heart starts beating. He said, then all of a sudden you get fatigued a lot faster. So yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't know. I mean, think about, think, look at you, how great shape you're in. Let's exactly. just say you take a year off from golf and then you're asked to walk four straight days. Like that's not even counting the playing golf on top of it to walk four and a half, five miles a day with pressure on you. That's, that's, you get tired, man. <laughs> oh yeah. And then, then you just the physical pain of the, I mean, yeah. what is that leg and that ankle uh, stabilization and all that, the, all that stuff he's got going on. What is it? How does that feel? So it's, it's, but it's, it's still exciting anything. that his name's still on the list and Phil's yeah. is not. That was a great find, by the way. Whoever found that, that's a great find to yeah. even think to even think about that right now. That's that's a good deal. But everybody's getting fired up, man. The Masters is just right around the corner. It's uh, it's very very close. It's very very close. And uh, everybody, they got. I saw where the grandstands are back for like the first time in like yes three years, which is a big deal. Um, so there's going to be bigger crowds. Uh, bigger. Uh, I'm sorry bigger well i guess it was the bigger masses of patrons uh it's going to be a lot more people uh there it's uh the roars are going to be back uh full force and uh I'm, i mean how can you not get excited i've got a couple of buddies which has never happened usually i've only known that one person uh i've got now three that and the bad part is they don't live around here three that won the lottery and will be going to practice right oh. I got a buddy too. He sent us his text. He sent us a picture of his tickets he got the other day. So it was, he got a Wednesday. Fact, one of my buddies, he lives in Boston, Massachusetts. And so he is flying down because now he was one of the ones that won the lot. That's another thing. That's another reason you want to have big crowds. Okay. So this guy that won the lottery this year, he didn't necessarily win. He was not allowed to go. Everybody that won the lottery last year that was not allowed to go got lottery tickets to be able to go again. Yeah. So, the crowds are going to be even bigger this year because they don't want to feel like they cheated somebody. Yeah. So they're going to allow the people that won the lottery last year. Oh, wow. Year, so they could double up. Yeah. They resent them. They resent them tickets this year. They Holy said, you didn't, you didn't get to go. Cause that's how he got to go. Yeah. Go. Cause I, I said, man, I, cause when he didn't get to go last year, I said, yeah, that sucks. And then he forwarded me an email and he goes, they're going to send me tickets again this next year because I won the lottery last year and they get to go. So, mm. Uh, we're going to see even more people. You're going to hear even more roars this year at Augusta National, and Phil won't be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben, what do you think is greener, Augusta or Athletic Greens? What do you think is greener? Hey, ton. Uh, look, Ben. I know which one's more fun. <laughs> yeah, more fun. Look, dude, tons of people take multivitamins, but it's important to choose the one that's top quality. With one delicious scoop of athletic greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and what, Ben? I forgot the name of it. I was trying Adapted. to think of it. Adaptogens to start your day and night. The special blend of ingredients supports gut health, nervous system, immune system, energy, recovery, focus, and aging. It's also lifestyle friendly and fits a wide range of diets. Reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D what? and five free travel packs with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash believe that's b-l-e-a-v again athleticgreens.com slash uh, believe athletic greens take ownership of your gut health let's go last thing real quick uh there was a tournament this weekend uh the valspar championship uh it's uh i feel like it gets sort of sandwich uh we got the match play this week we had the players last week and the players ran long and this was a crazy good field uh at um innisbrook i guess is the name of the course correct is it innisbrook uh where they have the um where they have the uh snake pit the copperhead course um and yes it is uh a great i mean a great field like you had jt uh you had brooks in the field um, you had Sam Burns, who just seems like he wins every week now. Um, great. I, I mean, him, a great, I picked him the week before and he, he failed me, but then he came out and put on a show this week. 
Yeah, like great field. Um, great, uh, great tournament. Scott Stallings came out hot. He was leading after the first round, mm-hmm. which was awesome. Uh, he ended up finishing T16, which is a great finish, top 20 finish. Uh, our buddy uh, Scott, he's playing really good right now. Um, mm-hmm. he is inside, like he's like the top six, uh, he's inside the top 75 in oh, yeah, he, points. He, I uh, think he, tied, around, he, he tied 16. How about that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Playing, playing really well. Um, so we're obviously we pull for him. He's a friend of the show. Uh, and yeah, it came down to a playoff. Um, you got Sam Burns and Davis Riley and what's crazy, like Davis Riley was just miles ahead of everybody, miles ahead of everybody. And then on in sun on his Sunday round on the fifth hole, Ben, he has a snowman on a par five and, oh. and a triple. He tripled a par five, and like the shot tracer is phenomenal. He went, he he pulls it way left, and then he tries to play up the fairway of another hole, and then jacks it around in some trees, and it's just an absolute disaster. Triple bogey. Uh, but comes back and uh, birdies uh, has three birdies on the stretch, including uh, a birdie on 17. Um, I'm sorry, a birdie on 17 to get uh, into the playoff. So like he battles his way back to get into the playoff with Sam Burns. They go into the playoff, and then uh, Sam is just incredible right now, and he edges him out back to back winner. Uh, on the second playoff hole, I believe. Yeah, second playoff hole. He birdied. He hit like a 60 foot bomb it wasn't 60 feet but it was a long way uh to win and uh it was just a great great event davis riley um he's an up-and-comer i think he played at alabama actually so he um, yeah he uh he got paired with jt on yeah. round two i think uh, uh rounds one and two and so jt one of those days i forgot which day it was he went out and he shot like 66 67 and yeah. of course, Riley put up a 62, 62. that same day. Yep. Um, and so they asked JT about it afterwards, and he was like, Man, he was in the zone. He was like, He oh, didn't, yeah. he said he even got to a point where he was not talking to us anymore. Like he was completely focused and he had a putt to win the tournament. Yeah. He had a putt to win the tournament on 18, and he just barely, you know, just, just grazed the edge. How about uh, Davis Riley, two, uh, Justin Thomas, three, roll tide. There yeah. you go, Alabama. Alabama yep. golf showing out. So um and JT was, I mean, he was right there with that 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 16 under with with Riley finish at 17 and tied. I mean, our our guy that we were pulling for earlier in the year, the Gala, he's up there top 10 again. Uh so that yeah. guy's played great golf. Um, and then uh, as you said, the 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 field itself, I mean, going through them, I was I was actually shocked. And I guess it's like you said, it kind of sucks because it comes after the players. I mean, Harold Varner had a good players and then he comes out and ties 57th in, in this. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's a, mo- a lot of so, emotions. Uh, more Kyle, the same way. He's down there at, at, at 68. So he's struggling, um, right you know, now, some man. of the, yeah, he is. He's, he's, I don't know what's going on with his irons. His iron play has always been a strength and he's not hitting it anywhere near the hole right now. So I don't yeah. know if he's struggling with, uh, if he's looking to, to go more to a, a draw, he's always been kind of a cut guy. Um, and it seems like watching him play at the players, he was hitting more draws. And I don't know if that's something he's trying to get more distance or, or what's going on, but he's nowhere near the hole. So until he, until he starts making 35, 40 foot bombs, uh, yeah. he ain't going to have a lot of birdies. Um, Real quick but, about uh, talking about going back to the end of the tournament. Um, this is how you know you're good. Okay. This is how you know you're good. So Justin Thomas, uh, he has the birdie 18 to get to the playoff. He's 16 under. He blow so the tightest fairway you will ever see. Like it's like twenty yards right, twenty yards wide. Like it's just just impossible fairway to hit. I don't know if you remember this. I believe this is correct. Is uh, Tiger when he was having that? I think it was like two thousand eighteen when he almost won a bunch of times. This was one of them, and he laid his mm-hmm. tee shot way back when he had to birdie to get in the playoff. Like if you see, if you watch the tournament, you understand why. Because like your landing area is just nothing. So JT blows his drive uh, right into a bunker. It's in the lip. He can't advance it. He just hits it out till he's got about 90 yards in. And like, I honestly feel like he could make it. Like, I, like, and and the announcers are like, I mean, he's lined this up. Like, he's got a chance. He's like, he's got a chance to throw it up there, spin it back, and like, you kind of feel like it could happen. Like, everybody gets quiet. Not, not just me, but like everybody there. They kind of feel like it could happen. And then he throws a dart to like two or three feet, but obviously it doesn't go in. But 
just like you just feel like Justin Thomas can just hold one out yeah. when he has to to uh, to to make a play. You, know, but, you also know you're good when your peers are watching you, whether it's video monitor or something like that, and and you see them, the peer, the PGA Tour peers talking to each other, and they're like, I mean, he could make this. Yeah. And you're, he was playing with Sam Burns. And they're, and they're saying it like it's normal. Like that's yeah. a normal, like that's a normal thing. Like he, you know, I, I know that, I, I know you got to have that mentality of match play, but in stroke play, they don't usually have that mentality. Like yeah. in match play, you, you never count your partner out in match play because about the time that you start counting your chickens before they hatch, then all of a sudden, you know, drop a bomb on you. Yeah, he jars one from the uh, from from the bunker. You know that, that, yeah. that the announcers will say he'll never get this up and down, and then he just holds it, and yeah. it's like, yeah, okay. Uh, so I get that in match play, but stroke play, I, I guarantee you, Burns was sitting there thinking that Burns was like, he could probably please don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, please don't go in. No, but good. Uh, congratulations, Sam Burns, man. He is yeah. uh, he's on fire and he's playing really good golf and he can smoke it too. He can hit the damn he can hit the golf ball. It's uh he's he's Push fun to watch. FedEx coin points and uh Ryder Cup points. He's telling Zach Johnson, pay attention, baby. And he is very handsome. So Sam Burns, big fans. Uh keep it going. He's buddy. a good looking dude. Keep it going. <laughs> keep it going, Sam. Uh being appreciate it, bro. Uh, yeah, episode 153 uh great tuesday uh we're we're o- over morning we're over our morning session so um oh, we're, we're ready to move on to next year and i, I got asked by focus my, on I golf got, i got asked by my aunt that you know gives me the crazy hats for christmas yeah uh, she texted me and she said uh no pod today and i said no all three of us were watching auburn get their butts kicked so we decided that we we're going to wait on doing a pod and I said we probably should have just gone ahead and potted instead of watching that. We could have just fr- just rage potted. <laughs> one day, one day we're gonna do a good rage pod where we're just just angry, angry, and just not happy. It'd be fun. But uh, good thing is now we get to focus on golf. Yes, hundred uh, percent. Focus on golf here on out. It's gonna be great. Masses around the corner. Match play this weekend. Probably the coolest. The coolest tournament. Obviously, the, the Masters is the best tournament. Kyle, am I, am I guessing this right? Do they not start on Wednesday on this match play? Yeah, it's an extra day. It's an extra yeah. day. So, they start yeah, tomorrow. So, it's a 64-field team, or if it's 64. Is it 64 golfers? How many is it? I think it's 64. It's a bracket. It's just like uh, – Yeah, it's just like this. Just They try to do it just like the tournament. They seed everybody and – uh yeah, yeah. see everybody and it's just uh they went to that new format though a couple of years ago remember where you had to uh, yeah you got to get play? out of your group you got to get out yeah. of your group you're right you're right i, I forgot I about like, that i don't like that. pool play pool it's like pool play yeah i still don't like that i'm with you i'm with you i like i like the old version i like the 64 being able to knock off a one i love it yep yep when they had they named the brackets it was like the hogan bracket the 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 yeah the Palmer bracket, stuff like that. Yeah. That, that yeah. was, that was fun. This, this is okay too. Uh, yeah. So appreciate it guys. Uh, catch us out. We're going to be back tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to be back, back right back tomorrow for a, would you rather Wednesday, uh, tonight's episode and every episode is brought to you by bet online where the game starts. And this is the dad bod golf pod. Always. 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 <laughs>